Okay guys, I'm uh, gonna start some tour five here. So let's get underway with some guides. Uh, what was that, Whispering Pines? Oh, this must be, this is hole six. Par four. So what I like to do on this one is I actually like to get it up here as far as possible. Maybe even putting some side spin. So here you can see, we're just gonna try to land left of this tree a little bit. Hopefully it curls over. I don't care if I run out of fairway, it's not really a priority to me. Um, I feel good enough about the pitch from the rough. I'd rather almost have a straight angle Regardless if it's fairway or not, I, I, I like getting up here and just having kind of a straight view down at the hole. And I can usually play the front of this green, a little bit of spin. And it usually runs out pretty good. So somewhere in here, we won't need a very large adjustment for the wind because there's not it, it's not going very high in the air. So you'll see that I just kind of gently move it over. Ah, it was way early on that timing. But you can see it's rolling out pretty good. With perfect ball, we would have given ourselves a pretty good chance. We could have got that ultimate there. <clears throat> but one of the main things that you're going to see in this tour is really the wind starts picking up. A pin start getting a lot tighter. This is the first tour that that really happens. So with that being said, one of the main things that you're gonna want is a Spectra. Now mine's not, uh, I don't have that one yet. So without the Spectra, we gotta get a little creative with the way that we're playing these because I might usually use a short iron here and just kind of Spectra this, and just kind of crank the spin up. Now what I'm gonna do here is we're gonna do more of a short hit. And you can see I actually drew a pretty easy wind so I'm not really going to touch the ring adjustments. I'm almost going to just keep this straight at the hole. And we're just going to work on short hitting. So you got to think this is perfect ball. You know, for this one, it's going to need to come back. Even with this headwind. So you can see that I'm just kind of... Ah, I got a great shot. You can see it looks like it's going to cost me the shootout. Because you can see how much it pulled. It looks like I pulled more than my opponent. It's, it's very close, one way or the other. But you can see that I'm trying to short hit. Um, you know, we hit we, we hit our uh, ultimate shot. We easily pick up that win. So those are the things, um, you know, that you want to focus on. The ultimate shot is so critical in this game. You can see, you know, we both missed it. And it just became, well, who, who missed it worse? <laughs> so, um, you know, let's keep, keep rolling with this. And I'll see you guys on the next.